see la C. Yeah, same for me as C. I'll say in between B and C. C, yeah. For me, I'll give a C too because um, we're not, we're not saying that service is bad, but there's definitely room for improvement. So. C? Yeah. I'll average it out. I'll say C, D, maybe. Yeah, I think I would have a similar rating, C or D. Yeah. C is still a little bit lacking, but there, almost there. A C grade for our service industry is less than desirable. But are our service standards that bad? In a survey conducted by market research group TNS, over 70% of 30 managers here felt that increasingly demanding customers was the main barrier to delivering good service. We have cases of customers buying the wrong tickets for wrong sessions. And um, by means of being very difficult, a good, good example is they wanted to be compensated not only at the level of ticket, which is norm for service recovery, but they wanted compensation from car park to petrol consumption that uh, they had to spend from home coming all the way here, realizing it was a mistake on their part and they refused to accept it's a mistake and wanting compensation for movie dining vouchers plus every other extras that you could give plus premiums and all that just to appease them when clearly indicated was that they had made a mistake in their booking process. Uh, what we usually do is that we know that these are mistakes that would happen honestly and nobody wanted this to be the case. So what we can do basically, or what we typically would do is to give them the opportunity to choose a session of a movie that they are already there for and if the time fits the bill, we'll probably give it complimentary and give them a full refund and get them to go in and enjoy the movie. There are some people who are really demanding on the service staff as well, so sometimes it's also the customers who who sometimes draw out the bad, atten uh, bad attitudes of the staff. I do agree that Singaporeans uh, can be a bit demanding when it comes to service because we do expect that certain level of standard, com I mean, in comparison to the standard of living that we are in. So yeah, You definitely get the odd few who expect things a certain way just because they're paying for it or whatever. So yeah, it's, it's you know, tit for tat as well. I guess people in the service line, if they get such customers, they're angry. Some customers are more demanding, but as long as you put yourself in their shoes, you understand why are they, where are they coming from, you'll be able to like, satisfy their needs very easily. Yeah. So how do businesses here ensure that their staff deliver good service? We have trained our staff to make a point to read the name on the card and to thank the person by name for giving that credit card forward rather than just to say thank you sir or ma'am which is expected or common, but to be able to reply by name Mr Tan, Mr Lim, I think will delight them in a small way. The fact that when we have an usher who doesn't speak is expected, but for an usher to say enjoy the movie will be delightful to hear, and that will really make your day in enjoying the movie, and even if the movie is not great, you probably leave happy because you realise some form of service was provided, and where it's not even required, it was given. When we have a question made by the customer, we need to ensure that what we deliver is precise and prompt. Uh, that might mean actually taking some time to ask the customer questions so that we, de we don't end up wasting time or delivering something that's not what was requested in the first place. Just taking those few extra moments or those extra seconds to ask what kind of coffee, um, how, how would they like it served, where would they like it served, is it being served in their room, in the lobby, in the restaurant, in the bar. The survey was conducted in April to get a better insight into the service debate in Singapore. Over 400 customers, managers and service staff were interviewed. For more on Singaporeans' bad service experiences, check out our other clip.